I grew up with my grandma and grandpa up at uh, at the homestead in near Forks, and um, and it, every night was story time, and and I and I can recall that my my grandma was the storyteller of our family, and she was telling me that the clues originally came from the wolf, and. Um, and so that's, that, that's how I learned about that from my grandmother and also from my mom and dad. And that's what I tell my children, my grandchildren. Now I have great-grandchildren. And I tell them that because this was handed to me from my, my grandparents. And I figured that's how we do things, is handle those kinds of things down from the next, to the next generation. When our stories were passed down, they would, <clears throat> my grandfather would say, we have been here for many years. He would say thousands of years, over 10,000 years ago, to a time that was different than it is today. A long time ago, when the animals could talk, we became the wolf. And I don't know the history behind that. I've just kind of forgotten that through, you know, all the years. And uh, and and, I, and I'm sad about that because that that's about all I can tell my, you know, my especially my grandchildren and my great grandchildren. We do have a part in our stories that talk about um, the wolves. <clears throat> in our stories, we have a being that's called the Changer. Trans his name translates into the Changer, and um, he went around the world. One of his responsibilities was to set things right in the world so that when time changed those things would change the change for them would be smooth and so he went around the world <clears throat> setting things in balance and in harmony for the moment of the changing of time so as he was coming through this area you know and I'm leaving a hundred hundred and ten percent of the story out but as he was coming through this this area, he was at what we called Quileute land and translated that that's generally speaking the land of the people. And back then, before time changed, all of the creatures of the sky, of the forest, of the ocean could take off that skin that made them what they were and they could be people. And so when they had their skins off and they were being people, they had somewhere to live, Quileute land the land of the people, rather than in the forests or the ocean or the sky or wherever they lived. That's where they were to go when they had their skins off. And so the changer discovered that when he got to Quileute land, there were no people there. None of the animals in this area had decided to be people and go to Quileute land. So as he was thinking of this, he was thinking it's much too beautiful for people not to be here. So as he was thinking this thought, two wolves crossed his path. And he said, ah, oh, clap of thunder happened. He turned them into people. So these creatures didn't have a choice. They were the, they were the first changed by the changer to, pe to be people. So they had no choice. They had to be people for the balance of time. And so he instructed them to go live in La Push at, at Quileute land. So they were actually the first. They weren't the only, they were the first. So as time passed, before time changed, there were whales that <clears throat> decided to be people. There were eagles, there were beaver, there were deer, there were bear. And when they removed their clothes, removed their fur, they would go to live in Quileute land. So they were the first. And they were only one of many clans that when time changed, so that they would remember who they came from, they assumed their previous identity as a clan so that they would always honor that animal and remember who they came from.